This is the 23rd video on computer awareness quiz and this will be a 40 part video series on computer awareness wherein we will be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to computers, programs and related terms and terminologies. You will find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under computer awareness quiz section. Link is in the description. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comment section. So let's quickly get on with it. Which of these IEEE standards represents wireless local area network? Correct answer is B. The IEEE 802.11 which is part of IEEE 802 set of LAN protocols defines the standards for implementing the wireless local area network. Which of these is not an unguided mode of transmission? Correct answer is C. Optical fiber. In unguided transmission, no physical medium is required for the transmission of electromagnetic signals. There are three major types of unguided mode of transmission. Infrared, radio waves and microwaves. Hence the answer is C. Which of these waves is most commonly used by wireless mouse to communicate? Correct answer is A. Infrared. Infrared waves are used for communication for very short distances. These are most commonly used in TV remotes, wireless mouse, keyboard, printer, etc. What is the full form of Wi-Fi? Correct answer is A. So Wi-Fi stands for Wireless Fidelity. It is the local area wireless technology. It allows an electronic device to transfer data or connect to the internet using radio waves. Which of the following devices can help to extend the range of a wireless router? Correct answer is A. Wireless repeater is used to extend the range of wireless router. A repeater receives wireless signals and amplifies the strength of the signals and then re-emits them. Which of the following hardware device is essential for computer to connect to a wireless network? Correct answer is a C. Wireless adapters are those hardware devices which are installed inside computers to enable wireless connectivity. If a computer does not have a wireless adapter, it will not be able to connect to a router in order to access the internet. Which of the following network protocol are described by GSM? Correct answer is A. GSM is a standard developed to describe the protocols for second generation, that is 2G, digital cellular networks used by mobile devices such as mobile phones, and tablets. What is the full form of GSM? Correct answer is D. So GSM stands for Global System for Mobile. Before this it was known as Group Special Mobile. As GSM increases its global presence, the term was changed to Global System for Mobile. What do we call the process of transferring a mobile station from one base station to another? Correct answer is B. Handoff is the process of transferring an active call or data session from one cell in a cellular network to another or from one channel in a cell to another. UMTS is a standard for which of the following networks? Correct answer is B. UMTS stands for Universal Mobile Telecommunication Service. It is a third generation meaning 3G broadband packet based transmission of text, digitized voice, video and multimedia. It transfers data at rate up to 2 megabits per second. Which of the following technique is used by UMTS? Correct answer is B. UMTS uses wideband code division multiple access, which is short for, in short, WCDMA, a radio access technology which offers greater spectral efficiency and bandwidth to mobile network operators. What is the maximum data transfer speed offered by Bluetooth 4.0? Correct answer is C. So the maximum data transfer speed offered by Bluetooth 4.0 is 24 Mbps. It is the same as the speed offered by Bluetooth 3.0. Which of the following radio signals are used by 1G networks? Correct answer is A. The radio signals used by 1G networks are analog, while the radio signals used by 2G networks are digitals. This is one of the main differences between 1G and 2G. Which of the following is a standard for 1G network? Correct answer is C. 
AMPS or the Advanced Mobile Phone System is a standard for 1G mobile network which was in used in North America and Australia. What do we call the handoff in which there is a break in the connection on the cellular network? Correct answer is A. Hard handoff refers to an actual break in connection while switching from one cell or base station to another. The switch takes place so quickly that it can hardly be noticed by the user. What is the maximum download speed offered under LTE Advanced Standard? Correct answer is C. So the maximum download speed offered under LTE Advanced Standard is 1 Gbps. The LTE Advanced is the 10th version of LTE. Where does the bending of EM waves occurs in the atmosphere? Correct answer is D. The phenomena of bending of electromagnetic waves occurs in ionosphere and they are diverted towards the earth. This is helpful in sky wave propagation. Which of these factors affect the line of sight communication? Correct answer is C. The line of sight communication is affected by A, the line of sight distance and B, the curvature of the earth. The space waves are used for line of sight communication such as television broadcast, microwave link and satellite communication. What should be the minimum antenna size for a signal with the wavelength lambda in meter? Correct answer is C. An antenna is needed for both transmission and reception. Lambda upon 4 should be the minimum antenna size that is in meters for signal with the wavelength lambda. Which of the following IEEE standards ZigBee is based on? Correct answer is C. ZigBee is an IEEE 802.15.4 based specification. It is a low power, low data rate and close proximity that is personal area wireless ad hoc network. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.